Hi, right, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this review, I'm going to discuss the 1998 film, Sphere. Starring Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, plus Peter Coyote. Well, this movie is based on the Michael Crichton book of the same name. And this was a time when the 90s was just about, at least it felt that way, every other movie was made by Michael Crichton. Uh, because of the huge success he they had with Jurassic Park in 1993, so a lot of his movies in the 90s, uh, a lot of his books in, in, during the 90s were made into movies. Because he had Sphere, he had Disclosure, he had uh, Lost the Lost Road or Jurassic Park 2. You had of course the original Jurassic Park. You also had Rising Sun. So you had about five or six different mo movies based on Michael Crichton books that came out during the 90s. And well, most most of my Crichton books have been made to movies, not all of them. And and Sphere was right in the middle of it. Because it was a science fiction uh, thriller where a bunch of scientists uh, in different fields. One was a mathematician. Dustin Hoffman's character was a psychiatrist. So you had and he made up this paper who 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 he would pick for in case there was a. UFO crash or something, and and he just made he made up the whole paper and which was, was brought up into the, into the film. It was also made into, it was written in the book. But it was also they put that plot in the movie. But if you think you missed that, where he, uh, when Dustin Hoffman's character made up the whole paper, and but this uh, like like NASA like the secret government a agency. Uh, Picked all these guys up, all these scientists up, and put them in the water, in, in the water, because that's where the UFO crash was, like about a thousand feet in, in, under the water. And so they investigated this, and all, and the, you know, alien on this this crazy sphere, which was actually was alive. And all of a sudden, he said, "Oh, call me Jerry." And then all of a sudden, Dustin Hoffman starts calling the the entity Jerry. Jerry gets offended and says, "Hey, don't call me, don't call me Jerry." I mean, uh, stuff like that. And then he just, and then Jerry manifests uh, jellyfish attack on with all the writer who had a small part in this thing. Uh, that that was all the writer, uh, Queen Latifah. Attacks Queen Latifah's character. Yes, Queen Latifah was in this movie, but very short, very small role because her character gets killed off pretty quickly, and then comes up with. Uh, like electric eels attacking people, you know, manufacturing all, all these sea, the sea life, the CEA life, sea life, to attack this habitat. And it was like one attack to the other until there was only three people left. And which was, of course, Dust, the, the three main stars was Dustin Hoffman, uh, Sarah Stone, and Samuel Jackson. And they were like twin, and the three of them were like twinning on each other. And it was like an old paranoia point. All our paranoia crap was going on in this thing, and then they finally decided to like share a moonstruck. They decided to snap out of it and get get out of the emergency sub and get out of there. And of course, uh, afterwards they decided to be uh, in some way and somehow they were still connected to the sphere, which is a thousand feet below the the ocean, like I said, and they decided to choose to forget the whole thing and not tell the military anything. Which is what they decided to do and now all of a sudden now the sphere is not attacking anybody anymore by the end of this film. Uh, I mean it was a crazy crazy plan. It felt that the book was better actually. I read, I read the book and I figured and when I read the book a couple of years and I bought two or three years ago. So I decided, hey, since I read the book, okay, let me read, see the movie uh, version. Saw the movie, and I thought the movie was not that, well, it was not that great, co considering you had A-list talent. But the movie was like a C, you have know, A-list talent, but a C on execution. Uh, that's what the problem a lot of people have with Michael Crane's books, is that it's too tech oriented. And, but I think the one book that should be made into a movie one of my friend's books that hasn't been made to a movie is either Micro or uh, Prey. P 
penis, P O N E Y, which is the two, the two books that that they haven't made a movie on of, of from Michael Crane's books because those, those stories were pretty damn good. But it's fair. It was, I mean, it was a good story, you know, as a book, but as a movie, like I said, like I just said, it just fell in execution. So let me movie. Uh, let me review of the of the movie Sphere. Please click on the video. Please video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please forward this video to your Facebook pages. And you can check out all my reviews and all on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com. That's all WDY and that's C.com. The home page is Rally Reviewer Christine Moore. And please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.